This video is sponsored by Arms List Marketplace. Member benefits include shopping in your local area for great face-to-face -face deals or shop nationwide at over 1,300 FFL dealers. You can sell your items in your local area. No sales fees or other nonsense. Just become a member, pay your low monthly membership, and enjoy all the benefits. Check them out at armslist.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Ruger Max 9 versus the Springfield Armory Hellcat. Both subcompact 9mm handguns. I've had them both for a while. They performed great. 3 inch barrel with the Hellcat on the right. 3.2 inch barrel with the Max 9. They share many similar features but they're also different. Let's start with the Springfield Armory Hellcat. When they first introduced this, they said they have the highest capacity for any handgun this size, and that remains true today. A 13 round mag and 11 round mag is included. As mentioned, three inch barrel. This is the OSP model, optical sight pistol, and I currently have a shield SMSC on there, micro red dot. U dot sights, you could pull the sight off and, and put a plate there. If you want to go with your irons, it's got a U-dot and a tritium luminescent surround front sight, night sight included. Forward serrations, sight hole indicator, the OSP model, MSRP 663. It does have a slot for a rail and a very nice trigger. Five pound trigger pull with a short reset. I've had it for a while. And they expanded the line quite a bit, and I, I pretty much have experienced or own just about all of them, the Pro, the RDP, and I've really become a fan of the Hellcat models. I think they, they did a great job with them. It's easy to carry, lightweight, 24 ounces loaded with 13 rounds. Here we go. There it is. Easy disassemble. A lot of people love the Hellcat, but people people love the Max 9 too. I've had this one not as long, but it's been great. This comes with a 12 round mag and a 10 round mag. 10 round mag, two finger contact, 12, which is definitely the way to go. Get that three finger contact here. This is optic ready. All the Max Dines are optic ready. I've got a sight mark mini shot on there. Serrated black rear sights. Tritium front dot that is fiber optic. Forward serrations. It has no thumb safety. So they, they call this the Pro model. And mentioned that they are optic ready. They suit 14 different optics. So they did a, a very nice job with that. The downside that many people claim and... I've heard this quite often, is that to disassemble it, you have to remove the pen. And that's a little more of a lengthy process, and you can't, you can't lose that pin. But the MSRP on this is $579. So it's a little bit cheaper, like $90 bucks cheaper than the Hellcat. Is it worth it? I don't know. That's what we're going to decide today. But we'll take a few shots with the Max 9. Five-pound trigger pull. I'll show that when I'm done shooting here. All right, so this also has a five pound trigger pull and an integrated barrel bushing. Hopefully that'll pick up. Five pounds, reset right there. A little longer reset with the Max 9. So I've owned both for a while. I think they're both phenomenal handguns. I don't have a pre-decision bias. I have shot these side by side. I find them both to carry well. Both 24 ounces loaded with 13 rounds. A little, little more expensive with the Hellcat, about 90 bucks more. I feel the build quality is a little tighter with this. You know, let's shake your Has a little shake there. Not always an issue. Actually, very seldom is it an issue, but it, it's, it's nice to have a little more sturdy handgun. Uh, I shoot them both very well. So if I had to choose one, I'm going with the Hellcat. I just think it's a phenomenal gun. I've, I've always enjoyed it. It carries well. And I just, I just like 
the the overall shooting impressions. I love the Max 9. I've had it forever. I've compared this with so many others, and I've always choose, have chosen the Max 9. But this time, I'm going with the Springfield Armory Hellcat. What I want to know is which one would you choose. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.